Good morning, how's it going? <laughs> Beer and morning in London is basically. Cheers. It's not morning, it's one in the afternoon. We're good. How have you been finding the show, man? Quiet, small, intimate, and I've been recognized more here than since I've done my face reveal. Yeah, because Munich, I am. Um, Munich is where I did my face reveal. So no one got a chance to see me. Yeah. So yeah, no, this is an interesting show. It's smaller than I thought it would be because I've been to you know, New York and SoCal. It's uh, one of those places where you get recognized a lot here. Like genuinely, I've been so kind of shocked by the amount of people that have come up to me over the last few days and just gone, hello, love your videos, which is just you surreal. Know, it's a surreal. yesterday, 20, and only one it's today. A, I think that it's been a quieter day today. Sunday is definitely... It's a surreal experience, isn't it? Yeah, I know. It's like, random people knowing your name is just a bit odd. Yeah, and you know what, the British are so friendly, so they're always just coming up and saying hello. Usually other places, people are a little more timid. Oh, they don't mind it. They, they come straight away to, to say hi and stuff. Yeah, so Can Jam so far has been, like, I don't think I'm going to get as much in in this Can Jam, but it's everything around it. The, the, the people are here, some of the vendors that aren't normally in the States, like um, uh, Lin Sol's here, with, like their Fly Audio stuff, like yeah. that wouldn't, they don't come to the States. So it's like it's interesting to see that side of it. Because even though you know just crossing the pond is a little bit too too much. Munich obviously is where everyone goes. Yeah. But no, Munich isn't a no. headphone show. If I go to Munich, I'm spending an hour near the headphones and then Everything is speakers, right? Four days with just well every venue. Yeah. We're gonna go back and talk about Munich. The Kanje was great, but let's <laughs> talk about Munich some more. <laughs> but you know, um like the headphone down there. I, try, I, was, I was waiting in line to try to touch the, touch the headphone with a balance cable because they were running it single ended. And the guy wouldn't get up. And I understand this, you know, they sound amazing. People, people are actually here shopping for, for audio gear. It's uh, kind of surprising this time around how much vendors there are here than actual uh, manufacturers themselves. They've just got representatives sent to those vendors, like yeah, that's, Meza. That's the, um, that's the, I mean, the ultimate goal is like you want your product there. But you don't want to spend five, six thousand yeah. dollars for a table, and then have one product on the table. It could be on the table of someone you trust, and they're just showing off ten, twelve things. Especially because that makes the table more interesting for the people showing up. What's been the worst thing you've heard? The worst thing I had heard previously at the New York one was the Yamaha headphones were the biggest disappointment. And I, so I spent some time with them in the booth today. Mm -hmm. And they're not the worst headphone, but they are nowhere near a $5,000 headphone. Like, I find them just, like, stuffy. They're like this massively open thing, but the, the sound doesn't... Like, I like my Colab headphone better. It's $200. It feels more open and airy, and it's a closed back. So I don't understand how they're... And the, the guy was like, oh, maybe it was because they were using the 4.4 versus the 4 pin. And I'm like, that isn't going to make any difference. I like that they have a booth. I respect them for having the booth here. They, they, they bring, to get it a little bit quieter to hear it. Yeah. But I use it on my source, and then I use it on their source. And then he was complaining about their source and Amazon Music not being good enough. And I'm like, I just don't think what did I you like listen to? Headphones. What did you listen to? What music did you listen to? What music do yeah. I listen to? Yeah. I mean, uh, for that headphone. Or was it just your test tracks? My test tracks, well, they use for sound demos. Yeah. You can check out patreon.com slash these for uh, all my test tracks if you want to do that. But, um, the, the, their music was like, you know, big orchestral thing, whatever was playing on, on Amazon Music on their playlist. And mine was just everything. Like, I have okay. everything under the sun. And it was like just bad across the board, it's yeah? It's just, it was boring. It was boring. It was, I, 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 could, I, I could handle a headphone that's too technical or not technical enough. Would you say studio monitors in headphone form? Almost? Like, like Sure I Am. Is anyone who knows yes. Sure I Am? <laughs> yes. It's like I, everyone comes to me like, should I get sure I and I'm never going to say yes. Because they are just the most plain Jane, boring sound. Quality, I guess. But how do you measure quality? I, I use an, um, it's like being handed the most sterile glass in the world. I said that with like, when I was talking about the Sennheiser HE1. It's like, here is the most clean glass in the world. And they hand it to you, like, well, that's great. But there's nothing in it. Like, you can, you can marvel at the cleanliness of it, but you got to put some beer in it. you gotta, you got to... 
you spicy gotta, alphabet. You gotta give it a, a flavor or its useless. So I feel like the, like the Yamahas haven't, they played it so safe that they haven't succeeded in making good headphones. Okay. And the best thing you've heard? Did you hear the HE one before I actually jump onto that? Did well, you I mean, again I did the review with DMS, yeah. so I didn't bother you didn't coming hear, here. You okay, didn't hear it, okay, that's fine. I, I, mean, I, had private, I had a private listening session yeah. in Buffalo, New York. I'll link that down below so you guys actually can check it out. Um, my, it was an in-depth one as well. My 33 minute rant yeah. about headphones and why Sennheiser needs to stop. My, my biggest thing about the HE one was that Sennheiser doesn't have anything between HE820 and the HE one. No, you say it's a cavern. There's nothing. Yeah. There's, there's like, and you know that they love the HG1, yet they don't even have an electrostat that you can buy. It's just bad. Like, it's a representative of nothingness. It, it's, it is too exclusive. It is yeah. too... Um, I haven't been up to the ZMF room to hear everything he's got, although yeah. I think I've heard everything he's got already. I'm pretty sure we've done everything. For me, it, the O tour is the only thing left, and that's it. I think... You haven't done the O tour? Not yet, not yet. They're, they're, they're a solid, they're, they're a sound, like they're a choice, Yeah, you could tell. But the best headphone I've heard of the show, the headphone, the HEDD, the new one, I despised the original HEDD. It was so heavy. It was so heavy, so big, and honestly, I didn't like the way it sounded. Mm -hmm. Like I listened to it, like, oh, this is kind of okay. This new one actually is a proper experience. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a, an entire muffler for a car in my head. And it actually, that's why I brought the cable. I was going to go and try it balanced on the RME. Because they have the RME. Yeah, they did that at uh, London last year as well, actually, with a big heavy one. Yeah. Our, actually, I heard yeah. the, you listen to any of the IEMs? Loads of them. I heard uh, the Storm, the V14 from QDC was. I just did oh, two of those. My, oh have my you, God. You have to go back down if you haven't heard the Chimera Loki. Oh, I picked it up, not listened to it yet. I just literally picked it up, got some B roll. That I am. Um, has ruined all the other IMs of this show for me. Like I hear the I heard the Anol 14. You know what? There's another one that's really good. Um, there's a 14. There's the awful AFUL. It has a 14 driver that they're they're handing out, showing off. Okay. That really they had a 1 BA and then they have a 14 BA. And I listened to both. The 1 BA shocked me at how good it was at producing everything you needed an IM, even some low end, which is a single balance armature. They're doing this wild cavernous design with like, I think they folded 14 inches of tube or something. Okay. In the little IM. And then the, the bigger one, I brought it across the, the hall, because it didn't have a source at the time, to the CMA 15, and I plugged it in there, and I just, I was in awe of what that was doing with sound. So That's the, the, the Loki, okay. the Kinera Loki, and the new, I'm not sure the actual name is the awful Performer 14, but the awful 14 driver unit is probably, those are competing for the best IMs I've ever heard. Interesting, yeah, I definitely did not hear that one. Um, yeah, so the that Storm the was the last one I heard Storm today. I heard. Storm I did I was just okay with it. I, was just I think okay it's nice. It too. Yeah, I think it's nice, people, but people it's just nice. People were talking it up, and I'm like, I, I'm, I'm not 100. Have you ever heard the Soft Years Twilight? I've heard of it, I've not heard it. I've got it in my pocket, because it's my personal, like one of my personal favorites. Yeah. I actually did the uh, Play Audio Monarch Mark III very recently. It's going to come out on the 26th uh, publicly. And that's a 10 driver unit. And I think it's one of the most impressive IMs. I still haven't decided if I love it, if it's the best thing ever. Because I keep listening. I brought the um, soft ears to use as my reference, basically, to test, test yeah? yeah. Like if I'm testing an amplifier, like I plugged it into the Mass Cobo. Yeah. Have you, uh, did you listen to the Mass Cobo? Anything on the I, Mass Cobo? Yes, the 465, I heard. <laughs> With Sazvaras and with... He's got the... Um, something else down there, anyway. He's got the single magnet tungsten. Oh, yes, I did. I did hear it with tungsten. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and that's... I mean, that's the best thing you can hear at the show as far as headphones go. Until the double magnet... Uh, it's unbelievable what you get for that price point. It's... Ryan has done such an incredible yeah, job, Ryan honestly. Ryan can't price it correctly because he's a nobody. He's a nobody to the audiophile community, but not to the headphone community. Like yeah. you try to like say, I'm from Mod House, and you know, you're a $50,000 headphone brand. 
no one's going to pay attention. Yeah. So he has to step in at the under $2,000 mark. But he's going to disrupt some stuff in this category for those people who are jumping up from the HD 650s and stuff. I think most definitely. Yeah, I mean, I, will, I would be tempted to like, it's one of those headphones you want to show to people. I'm like, I'm going to show it to Zach and see him out. But then I feel like Zach would be like, well, why am I even making headphones at this point? Yeah. Or maybe I should, but he's only just got a plane on Zach. So now he's got, he, he's stepping into the lion's den with everyone else who makes uh, the, 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 cr the market is very crowded where Caldera is um, because you're looking at the four and a half thousand to two and the two thousands but used market everything's colliding where that 3.5 marker is and it's so busy it's, it's, it's made my job harder people will ask me for a recommendation and like now there's just these clumps of budget yeah and I'm like well you've got nine choices and I like all here's the thing I like Nine out of the which one is the right one for you, right? Yeah, yeah. And then the people start telling me their life story, and then their mother beat them, and then they but then they used to listen to Led Zeppelin to get over that, and they want Led Zeppelin. I, oh my god, it's just so hard. Yeah, and it, it would be if, if every choice was available to listen to, they could make their decisions. So it's just hard for anybody who's a reviewer now because we're juggling good things against other very good things. Yeah, it's, we've got 150 headphones in my brain right now that are good enough to recommend yes i agree so it's like i don't know which one you're gonna like the most but i'm just gonna flip a coin and here buy this at least give you the safe one <laughs> yeah. yeah there's always a safe one and there's always there's a safe one and there's a weird one like my headphone will be not a safe bet like people might hate my headphone but they might love it you you enjoyed it but like if it was your only headphone i don't think it would be the right choice I think we are in a slightly different position having access to pretty much all of this stuff. Oh yeah, it's definitely you know, skewed our it, judgment it, over it here. Really, really, because we look at something as, oh, this headphone's good to test like this or with this stuff. But for somebody, that could be, I've spent six months saving up for this headphone. This I, I, is I all I have. I all the time because I spent nine years of my life with one headphone before I got into the yeah. game. It was like I bought a Sennheiser HD 280. Pro, which is like the monitoring headphone. And I, I spent 80 or $100, I'm like, this is the greatest thing ever. It's got 30 decibels of attenuation, I can't hear my brother and sister arguing in the background. And I didn't need anything else until my friend put the Brainwaves HM5s on me. And I'm like, oh my God. There are other better. things, and there, there are, are better things. things. Yeah, DT250 was that for me from 2003 till 2011, basically. Yeah, no, um, we, we because, all start yeah. with one and we're happy. Yes. And then we stop being happy. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what it is. Then it's like, oh, we got to chase the dragon. And it's your fault. I'm basically here because yeah, I mean, it's I, your fault. Everybody, everybody <laughs> that said, you got me, you know how many said you got me into this? Like 15. You got me into this. You got me into this. So and yeah, I was, apologize to all of them. <laughs> it's like... The uh, LCD X review. Do you remember that oh, one yeah. back in 2017? I was so angry at people not willing to spend $1,500. And now, it's, it's the last few years where prices of headphones have gone to is petrifying. Well, like, in, and in the two money directions. people are. No, 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 stop. Yeah. There's, there's two directions of that. Because I think at least IMs, every year the IMs beat last year's IMs. Oh my god, yeah. The, so it's like $500 five years ago is like a $50 IM now. Yes, easily. You get Project easily. Red for 50 to $55, and it's like, well, go back in time with this five years, and this would have been six, seven. Even then, I can't even think of one. I had the uh, Roxanne from JH Audio, I think about 15, 16 years ago, and at the time it was like 2200 mm -hmm. Now, honestly, I think S12 beats it. The technology in IEM, yeah. this is why I had to start the entire different IEM channel. In your fetish, by the way, for anyone looking for the best IEM reviews. Um, and it's just because it's the most, as much as I'm bored with, like, I don't use IEMs on a daily basis. I have no need to. I, well, how this thing, also, speakers, headphones, IEMs, completely different scenarios where you want to use them. Yeah. I feel like if I'm alone in my house, a speaker is going to be used. Always. Almost always. always. Yeah. Always, yeah. But I've had a couple IEMs that I know that they're better than any speaker I've listened to. You're cutting out the room, you're cutting out my, my ear shape. And you can bloody walk out. 
That's the thing. I don't like being tied to a desk. That's my pro that's my thing. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it's just a matter of like, do I want to show something in my ear? So I, I would prefer not to, so that I would have a headphone. But if I'm in my house and I'm just listening to music, I prefer speakers. Yeah. So, and there's some people who are just going to listen to IMs because they are legitimately the best way to deliver sound. And it's convenient. It's convenient. Yeah. But I mean, it, it, if we could spend $2,000 on an IM and a $2,000 on a speaker, and you can get holy great experiences with both. It's just a matter of where you're using it and when. My and only then. problem is when I listen to speakers for three or four days in a row, non-stop, I don't ever want to touch headphones again. That's the problem. Oh yeah, no, I've had that. I mean, it's like it's time to work and I'm just sitting there and I'm in my sunroom and I've got a 65 inch OLED and I've got the Clips uh, Forte 4s, which are $5,000 and they're just, just doing their thing with no effort and I don't, I don't feel them on my head. I it's just there. Around. There's no wire on me. And you can walk away. <laughs> you can walk away and still enjoy them yep. to, to a sense. So it's just, I think what it comes down to is more people need the ability to use speakers. Yeah. And the problem is most people don't have the actual setup, the room or the environment to enjoy them the way they should be truly yeah. enjoyed. I mean, know? I would say if you said I could use a thousand dollar set of IMs to watch media or a crappy little Bluetooth speaker, but I don't have to be attached to anything. I probably fifty percent of the time take the little crappy Bluetooth speaker, just so I'm not wearing something to, to enjoy yeah. my TV show or yeah. movie. Unless I'm re reference listening, I don't like to be focused that hard. If I'm just casually listening to music, but I want to enjoy it in a very good way, so. I would like to be unencumbered. So that's why I even take like even like the super flagship headphones on the go and adapt. Just so that I can walk around and do something else at the same time. Yep. You know? It's, it's a balancing act, it's right? It's enjoying sound and you know what? Sometimes you have to change your expectations. Or be willing to like sacrifice quality for convenience. And what it all comes down to again, there's money as well. Yeah. yeah. Budgets budget I mean I look at someone that doesn't have four headphones and they're like, I need a headphone. I'm like, I'm confused. Why do you only have one? Yeah. And I, for a decade, I only had one. Because I couldn't even fathom having two. And then, what, I had to unplug the wire? What are you kidding? I'm not doing that. This is what I'm saying. Our perception genuinely can get a bit skewed and a bit jaded. Like literally right now, on my table there's X9000, Shang Senior, Aperio, 1266 TC. You got Shang Senior on your table? Yeah, and Who Aperio. Hi, fine man. Those bastards. <laughs> I, so, have to, I have to talk to the person you're talking to. So I sent the demo back to them now, yesterday, because they didn't have any on the table, and they gave me a brand new one to take back wow. <laughs> to finish the review. So. Yeah, you, are, you're, you, you are almost as in as bad a shape as DMS, who has the HE1. It's, it's, he keeps carrying it back and forth. His mother, <laughs> it's like his, his mother was just carrying the HE1 entirely. Like, I got this. <laughs> and I'm just like, well, where's this going? Oh, it goes back to his bedroom and it's not, you're ruined. You're ruined. Where do you, it's like, that's where why do I'm, you? That's why I only get excited for the cheap things. I pull up my little I, I app and I'm like, I need to make this. Because there's always a change and there's like a different change from the previous one. Honestly, I think it might have to skew back down to that direction because literally I've done four, I spent four days with the HE1 at Munich. I've done two videos on it. I've, done, I've just finished the Shang Senior review almost now, done the Aperio. There isn't anything above that. No, you're literally just waiting. You're playing yeah, the waiting it, game. It's the waiting game now. Or you just start messing with it and adding DAX and streamers yeah, and just... That, that's, the, that's, how, that's how audio files fail. That would be over here. Take a, take a good picture of that beautiful hamburger. Thank you. Look at this. It's gorgeous. Oh, happy yeah. bur belated birthday as well, mate. Thank you very much. But yeah, no, it's... When audio files buy their speakers and they're happy, and then they want more, but there's... To them, the speakers are the end, so now we need... I'm just going to bugger out with everything else. Yeah, that's it. Wires and someone selling you magic rocks. <laughs> or what were those stickers called again? The quantum dot stick. Did you see those? Yes, I saw the quantum <laughs> dot stickers. I have a friend who's very into electrical engineering, so he's fully understanding how electrons work. And I show him some of the things in the audiophile <laughs> community in the world, and he is just... Furious. <laughs> just like he's like, you gotta bring me to one of these shows, but I'm worried I'd just start punching people. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? I would give you the boxing gloves for 
to let you search the bunch of people. Yeah, no, I think so far Can Jam, this is a lovely show. If you're in Eng if you if you're in Europe, I guess this is the only one that is a dedicated headphone show. Yeah. Unless I'm wrong. It oh. is actually. Yeah, you're right. If you could do if you was, if it was Munich or London Pandem, I'd probably say you have to do Munich. But Munich is almost so overwhelming that you'd have to go there with a plan. And over here, you could see everything you need to see in the first half of the first day. Meet people, have conversations, have lunch. And talk, then go out and drink at night. Go out, drink at night, come back, yeah. check the thing the next day that you like. I gotta, I want to listen to the headphone one more time. I've not done it yet. I'm definitely going to go down and go do down that and as well. Go down and do the headphone. Yeah. Head -head -head yeah. Um, I'm going to listen to it one more time to make sure it wasn't a fluke yesterday. And then basically I've, I've made my decisions on what I like and dislike in the show. Yeah. And I've always still put on my head. 20% yeah. of what's available. Oh, definitely. Well, because, well, most of the headphones I've heard, and I'm like hearing the headphone I've heard on an amp deck I haven't heard is, that's a, I guess I can do that, but I also do that with my IMs. That's a mass cobo stuff, everyone's talking about it. I need to hear the cheaper stuff as well. Talking of that, we are both going to be on the panel at CanJam, so we might have to say bye to you. We're gonna carry on this conversation, let Z eat his food. Yes. I'll see you in the next bit. <laughs>